viewers, this is something that consistently happens to me. I see a really nice piece of AI news that I want to make a video about, and then it immediately becomes outdated after I already make a video about it. In yesterday's video, we talked about a high-resolution open-source AI video generator known as Potate One. Really awesome, you guys liked that video. I mentioned in that video that Runway ML's Gen 2 text-to-video generator was very closed access, not a lot of people had access to it. And then immediately, right after I make that video, Runway ML goes ahead and makes Gen 2 accessible to everybody on their website, which is just... Yeah. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Less than 24 hours after I upload a video, already outdated information in it. But that is the pace of AI development. It's really what we have to expect. I'm not complaining, though. I really do like Runway ML's Gen 2. It's the best text video that we have access to, even including the video I made yesterday about the open source text video generator. So I'm here for you viewers today to give you a really quick scoop on Runway ML's Gen 2, a little update. I actually wasn't planning on making a video today. I was planning on pre-recording another video that's going to be released later in the week, but I thought I would delve into this because Gen 2 is kind of a big deal. The fact that it's accessible to everybody is a bigger deal. Of course, viewers, I'll go ahead and link this all down below. If you want to use Gen 2, you're going to need a Runway ML account on their website. All you have to do is click the Sign into Runway button and you'll be brought to this page right here. Of course, by this point, you can go ahead and either log in with Google or Apple, interestingly enough, or actually make an account straight up with Runway. I just signed in with my Google account. And once we do that, we're brought to this page right here, which is the user interface that Runway ML has designed for Gen 2. It is very, very similar to their Gen 1 interface. And what's good is we can use Gen 2 for free. As you can see, we have 85 seconds left. Currently, we can only generate up to four second videos with Gen 2. A little disappointing, but that is going to increase in the future. I don't know, it seems that Runway ML has made the decision that Gen 2 is good enough now for public access. It's out of those beta stages in the Discord servers. As you can see, if you want more Gen 2, you can upgrade, and then this is where the payment begins. This is one of the things that makes that open source high res video generator very similar to Gen 2 that we spoke about in yesterday's video so appealing. That thing you can run at home on your own machine, that thing you can actually use in Google Collab for completely free, and you're not going to be paying Runway ML for it. But if you actually do want to pay for Gen 2, because right now Gen 2 really is the most cutting edge AI text to video generator that we have access to, well, if you want to pay monthly, it's going to be 15 bucks per month. You get the upscaling though, which makes it extremely high resolution, no watermarks, shorter wait times, and you get 125 seconds of generated video every month, which honestly is not that much. It's a little over two minutes. 300 seconds would have been a little bit better in my opinion, but you can buy more as needed. I really wish they just let you buy more as needed without having to have this monthly plan, but it makes sense that you do need to pay for this at some point because you are using their GPU processing power. What I would love for Runway ML to do is to actually make an app that we can download on our Windows machines and use with our own GPUs. 85 seconds left to test this thing out, and I think that's a pretty fair free trial to decide if we really want to spend any money. But yeah, here's the interface. This little button over here with the controls is a few different options that we have. I'll move my head out of the way. We've got a seed that is randomized every time, but you can actually save your seed so you can come back to certain generations and adjust prompts. You know, you can't have it either randomize or lock. What's nice is we have an interpolation filter here that is going to smooth out our frames and give us a overall higher perceived frame rate. I'm going to leave that on because personally, I think that interpolation is definitely the future for AI generated video. Someone in my comments section of my last video yesterday actually mentioned interpolation and saying that if we can use AI to interpolate frames in between AI generated video, we don't necessarily need to generate in a raw high frame rate. Anyways, if you want to upscale to a significantly higher resolution, not only would you have to wait a lot longer, you have to pay for the upgrade and pay for that monthly plan. And removing the watermark is also on that upgraded plan, of course. Anyways, as you can see, there is a duration of only four seconds of video. This is obviously going to increase in the future. That's why the button is there. We can't use it yet, but they're saying, look, we're going to make it longer in the future. Up to 320 character prompts, which is fairly large. And we also have initial images as well to start our videos off. 
and we will play with that later today, but um, yeah, you, you can upload your own images and use them as starting prompts. They've also got some inspirations that we can try out ourselves with lots of really great little images. Uh, let's go ahead and test out one of these. I really like this grass one, so we'll click the try it button. It puts that prompt in there and we can generate based off that prompt or edit it. And we will actually edit this a little bit. We'll say wind blowing in the grass. Okay, and then we'll click the generate. Let's see how long this is going to take to generate. We're already at 1%. It says in a few minutes, 12%. We're actually going pretty quick here. What's also nice though about the Runway ML system is they have their own built-in editor as well as other AI programs. So paying for this, you do get other features just then the Gen 2 stuff. You have all of your Gen 2 generations automatically saved the Matthews assets, and you don't have to do any fiddling around with coding, trying to run anything on your own machine. So there is really a lot of pluses to having built-in dedicated user interfaces and company-built products. Although I really do understand the AI community's appeal for the open source stuff like we saw yesterday. Anyways, here's our final generation. As you can see, it's Pretty low resolution, but we do get four seconds of fairly coherent text to video here. And we can run through and take a look at what we generated. The frame interpolation is definitely pulling through here and doing quite a lot for the frame rate of our video. It almost looks like 24 FPS maybe, which is a, a general film frame rate actually. Yeah, the wind blowing through the grass actually looks really, really quite good here. Again, this is the baby steps, the baby ages of this video AI generation technology, and this is definitely some impressive stuff, I, I won't deny. Gen 2 has always been impressive ever since it released, and it's only gotten better and more coherent over time, just like we saw with Runway ML's Gen 1 technology. But yeah, you can actually see in the bokeh blur and everything, it actually followed the prompt really, really quite well. This is a fairly easy prompt, I think, and we will see how it does with something a little bit more complicated. This is nice. When I first covered Gen 2, it was definitely, I don't I don't think, this good. They've been improving on it and working on it over time, and that's why it was in that closed beta only open to Discord members, and now it's here for everybody. Pretty cool stuff, though. Already very impressed with this. Let's try another nature prompt. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. We're going to do horse galloping in a field of flowers, shallow dip of field, cinematic nature, close up, beautiful. Click the generate button. It does take like a few minutes to generate a video, but not too bad considering the quality that you're getting. You know what's interesting, viewers? They offer that upscaling feature as paid. I'm going to make a video on this pretty soon. I don't have a video on it yet, but there actually is free upscaling that we can do with the likes of NVIDIA. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, most notably a, a recent one, you can do very, very good free instant AI upscaling. So, so when I make that YouTube video, we're going to have to try to do some upscaling with these Gen 2 generations. All right, this is a little bit more tricky here. Let's see if they were able to do it. Okay, huge lack of movement. No horses really galloping. Got the general idea right, though. A pretty coherent looking horse and some flowers flowing in the background. A general zoom out camera, but uh, yeah, not really horses galloping in the in the field of flowers. They're just kind of existing and being really creepy in the background. All right, now we're going to try to generate the most sad person ever crying. Tears flowing like a river, room full of tears. So I, I want like water to just be flowing around from this person's crying. Viewers, what I'm really interested in is when is Runway ML going to get themselves involved with AI audio generation? Because that would be fascinating. Imagine generating films with Gen 2 plus some Runway ML audio generator. That would be awesome. All right, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> This looks horrifying. We'll go ahead and see. Oh my god, what is that? What what kind of horrible... I think it's supposed to be an eyelid or an eyeball. Oh my god. This is terrifying. I hate every second of this. Is, this might be one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh, Jesus. It's like the eyelashes and the... the oh, it's like pulsing. This is... I don't think there's a, there's a creature on Earth that looks this scary, guys. Oh my god. The horrors of AI video generation are definitely coming through here. Again, this is, this is a warning viewers. I, should I censor this? This is, I am genuinely actually disturbed by, oh God, it just, there's something that triggers me about this. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I hate to use that word, but it's true. All right. Absolute failure. I feel like I'm gonna, okay, it's sick. All right, let's try our classic lemon prompt. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a anthropomorphic lemon character relaxing on a beach. Okay. This one actually looks like it came out quite decent. So we've got our anthropomorphic lemon character. He's on the beach. We got even like a little beach uh, 
Umbrella chilling here. I like the background blur. I like the focus on the character here. The character looks pretty decent. He's got the sunglasses and everything. Um, he's not really drinking. He's kind of just talking or laughing or something. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but he never actually pulls up his drink to sip it, which is a little disappointing. But otherwise, I think this is pretty impressive for the baby steps of this technology. I remember a moment in time only months ago when Mid Journey couldn't even generate an image that was this good and this coherent. So uh, yeah, honestly, props to Gen 2 for getting this far. Help, my pool is full of watermelons, iPhone video. Well, those do look a lot like watermelons. Let's see. Yeah, they're kind of floating in someone's pool here. It's like a quick pan over of all the watermelons. Looks decent, not gonna lie. We'll go ahead and now try the image to image feature, the image to video feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this lemon character. And it looks like maybe we got a little help from that input video. I kind of like the way this character is looking around, but his he's got more, more than two eyes, I will say that. I actually like the way the waves are crashing in the sand here, and I really do like the palm tree in this one. I think the palm tree is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is almost a perfect palm tree, I would say. So, really good job, Gen 2, on that front. Um, and overall, it's a, it's a decent generation. This thing does pretty good anthropomorphic lemon characters, that's for sure. I actually really like the lighting and the overall design philosophy behind the generated video, though. So that is a huge plus. Overall, though, Gen 2 is a fantastic generator. So, viewers, unfortunately, my camera battery has died, but I can still show you the closing remarks of my video here. This is a short that was created to welcome everybody to the Gen 2 community with Runway ML just kind of showing... The community members coming together here and uh yeah these are definitely some more high resolution generations this is what the upscaling looks like with the gen 2 video it looks all right looks decent but yeah you here you could see some of the baby steps again with this ai video technology coming together to create something a little bit more coherent than just four second videos. This was made by Timmy over here on Twitter. Finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about the open source generator that I broke the news about yesterday. Again, this is Potate One. Here you can see a little bit of the video that can be generated for completely free with this open source technology. If you want to learn more about it, check out my video from yesterday, but it does do some pretty impressive stuff that I would say is even a little bit comparable to some of the stuff that you are actually able to generate with Gen 2 by Runway ML. So there's definitely a little bit of that closed source versus open source competition we've been seeing in the AI community lately going on inside of the text-to-video space. And I thought this would be a pretty funny way to end the video. This right here is actually a generation where I just typed in YouTube outro and it actually tried to generate some text here. But uh, yeah, apparently this is what Gen 2 thinks of a YouTube outro and it's not too bad, honestly. It tried to generate like a little, you know, 3D graphic for a, a YouTuber to use as their outro. And honestly, if you just replace the text in here, this is not too bad looking. It, it actually looks like something fairly high quality. So thanks so much for watching, viewers. I'll see you in the next one. I'll make sure my camera battery is charged up as well. And yeah, check out some other videos as well as my Discord server. See ya.